Hi there, I'll try to make this video without any course just to show you the real level of English that I am. Uh, my name is Romário, I'm 20, 25 years old. I live in Sao Paulo in a big city called São Bernardo do Campo. Uh, I've been living here for 20 years, but I was born in other state that is like three hours flying from here in the, in the countryside of Bahia State. I lived there for five years, but, but I've been he living here in Sao Paulo for uh, tw more than 20 years. So I'm a really sporty guy. I really like uh, I really like doing a lot of things. I really like uh, reading books. You can see behind me a lot of books that I use in college. Uh, okay, okay, what can I show you? The ball that is really like playing soccer and a lot of sports that I practice here since since I was a little one and till now I still practicing it like two times a week and I go running and I really like going out with my friends, hanging out, you know, having barbecues with family and my girlfriend. I'm, I have a girlfriend here. Actually, I'm taking care of the the son of my girlfriend for like since since he was almost he was born. But um, right now I'm taking care of him because to help my girlfriend because I'm unemployed. And my girlfriend is working and she she really helped me helps me so i'm taking care of lucas the little one that i'm gonna show you in the future in the on the video a video of me and him playing the playground close to my house uh what can i say you more um just a minute hi again i'm sorry i promised not to cut the video but it's almost impossible because i'm too shy to record a video in front of the camera but my experience with kids uh when i was unemployed and i started on college uh there was a position in a school close to my house for a monitor a kind of monitor to help the teachers with all activities uh on this school and with children from two to seven but there was kids uh less than two in that school and I took care of, of all the kids you know I helped the, the teachers doing all, all the daily activities like recreation feeding kids uh, taking them to the to parks and playgrounds uh, taking them to the to the club to go swim and other uh, outside activities too and I helped in everything and after that I took care of a little little girl she was like four to five at that time. And I I took care of her like four hours a day for like five months. Um, and I, I did everything like re recreation. I helped her with homework, uh, doing, uh, ma uh, making games, uh, playing, going outside, playing inside, uh, doing uh, draws, you know, and a lot of creative things. I'm a really creative person. Um, and now I'm taking care of little Lucas, that is the son of my girlfriend. And I do everything. You can see <laughs> something that I have here that I really use when he's here. And I change diapers, I, I feed him, I, I do the meals, I prepare the meals, and I do everything. I, I mean, I, I, I would like to, to say you more, but I don't know actually the terms in English. Uh, it's a kind of vocabulary that I need to acquire. But I'm sure I don't have that difficult to, to learn everything when I'm there. And it's, it'll, be, it'll be a really good opportunity for me to master all the vocabulary and all the things that is wanted to take care of your children. i see you soon. Driving. Uh, I'm a really heavy driver. Um, I've been driving for more than seven years and I usually to drive two hours a day every day. Just to show you a little bit more about my personality and the things that I like. One of the things that I really like is learning new things. I really like science. I really like, you know, learn a new thing every day. I usually to read a book, um, at least three or two books a, a month. And I'm gonna show you three books that I really like reading. That I really liked reading. That was Poor Dead, Rich is Dead from Robert Kiyosaki. A, a book related to science that is from Stephen Hawking, The Brief History of Time. 
And a book, uh, the first book that I that I bought to in order to learn English, a book all in English that I had a really hard time trying to uh, to understand. But now I can understand uh, like 99% of this book, and I read this book like three times. That is effortless English from AJ Hold. So I hope you liked, and I see you soon. Abraço. 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 Ó, vou jogar pra lá que pegar a primeira dele, né? Ó. Vai, corre, corre. Vai, filho. Dá pra. Uh, as you can see here, I usually to study English. I started to study English like four years ago, but in the, in the uh, when I started learning English, I didn't like it. But gradually, I started liking it, and so I can study it without effort. It's not something that I have to do every day. I do it because I like it. So you can see some books here. You can see some books here that I used to learn English. Uh, so some of them I'm, I'm still using uh, nowadays. And I really like, uh, it's not just books to learn English. I have some other ones that are related to science and other subjects. And the most important thing for me is to, to say for you that I really want to be with you, host family, and it'll be a pleasure for me taking care of your children. Um, I've been, actually, I took care of a lot of kids already in my life. Uh, when I was unemployed, I worked on a school for more than 1,000 hours, and I took care of a little girl that lives uh, close to my house for more than six months, and I'm taking care of Lucas right now, that is the little boy of my girlfriend. I'm taking care of him for more than five months and I do everything, you know, and it'll be a pleasure for me to take care of your children. And at the same time, I'll be, I'll have the opportunity to be part of the family and to learn a lot of things with you. Uh, that's it. I hope you liked me and I hope to see you soon. Bye.